Hey guys, I'm back with another affordable guitar review and demo. At the end of this video, I'm gonna totally rock this thing with an all new original jam. So make sure you stick around for that. Some of you guys might remember that earlier this year, I did a review of the $89 Glary Tele style guitar. And I was pretty darn impressed by it. So the nice people at Glary recently reached out to me and asked if I'd like to review another one of their guitars. So of course I said yes. Today we are looking at the Glary GTL semi hollow electric guitar in a transparent yellow finish. They sell for only $119, so it's extremely affordable. It looks absolutely beautiful. You can see the nice wood grain underneath the finish. It's got this cool F hole right here, and it's a semi hollow body, so it's pretty lightweight. It's got your standard tele shaped body with a bolt on 22 fret neck. The body is basswood, while the neck is maple with a rosewood fretboard. It has chrome hardware and features a single coil pickup in the bridge position and a humbucker in the neck position. I like that. You've got your standard control layout, three way blade switch with one volume and one tone. One of the nice things on this guitar that jumps out at you right away are the brass saddles in the bridge. They look great and they're really solid. Plus, it's one saddle for each string, unlike their other Tele guitar, which only has three saddles, two strings per saddle. So that's a nice upgrade. Also, the strings go all the way through the body to the back of the guitar. And they have nice metal inserts instead of the cheap plastic ones. Nice. So it really does seem like Glary is trying to give you like a decent quality guitar for the amount of money that you're spending. And I think they've achieved that with this guitar. And looking carefully at the finish on the body, I really don't see any flaws at all, like anywhere. I mean, it's pretty much perfect. Let's talk about the neck some more. On the previous Glary Tele that I reviewed, one of the only things that I really didn't like was the huge, thick and chunky baseball bat neck profile. I even let the guys at the company know that they should really try to make the necks thinner. They said they were gonna work on that, but I'm not actually sure if they did or not. This one feels like it's maybe slightly thinner than the other one was. It feels a little bit more comfortable when I play it, but there's still some more room for improvement. I still think it could be thinner, you know, shaved down a little bit. The nut is just your standard cheap plastic nut that they put on a lot of these affordable guitars. It's a little sloppy on the installation. There's a little bit of glue like on the side here and uh, it's not quite flush on this side. Nothing major, it doesn't really affect anything, but I mean, you can tell they do it pretty quickly and it's not that great. The height of the slots and everything, they seem to be okay. And if you wanna change the nut, you can get a Tusk XL nut, a really good quality nut on eBay for like 12 bucks and it's really easy to just like pop it out and put in the new nut. It has two string trees here and you can see that they are not quite centered. Uh, you know, I know they put these things together really quickly, so they were a little bit sloppy on the install of the string trees. It's no big deal. I don't think it's gonna affect the tuning or anything. It's just kind of a visual thing. And if I feel like it, I could easily fix that, take them out, plug the holes, redrill the holes, and center them up, and I might do that at some point. Okay, confession time, guys. I did change one thing on this guitar. The strings. Anytime I get a new guitar, I always change the strings right away. All right, we've established that this guitar looks great and has pretty good construction overall. But how does it play in sound? Let's find out!
Well, there you have it, guys. What do you think? It plays fairly easily. It feels comfortable. It sounds pretty good. It could probably do with a slight fret leveling, but you know, for a guitar that only costs 119 bucks, that's kind of to be expected. But even as is, it's totally playable. You just heard me play it. I haven't done a fret level on it yet. The pickups sound okay. A little bit on the weak side. You know, they're your typical, generic, kind of weak sounding pickups that again, you get in these affordable guitars. They don't have a whole lot of output, but it's not terrible either. So if you like the way it looks, and you've only got about 120 bucks to spend on a new guitar, I would definitely say this is a good deal. Of course, you can get a better quality guitar if you're willing to spend more. Another thing that these guitars are great for is modding. These guitars are so inexpensive that even if you want to swap out a bunch of the stuff like pickups, tuners, pickguard, whatever, even after you buy that new stuff and swap it out and do your modding, it's still going to be an extremely affordable guitar. So guess what guys? I'm going to mod the heck out of this thing. I've already got a bunch of parts ordered on the way with a plan to make this guitar at least 10 times more awesome. I'm pretty excited about it. If you want to see the end result when I'm done modding this thing, make sure you hit that subscribe button. All right, guys, that's it. The Glary guitar. I'll put a link in the description if you want to check it out. And as always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.